Good morning, good morning, my brother, good morning, my sister. We greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord, and we thank him for allowing us to be together on this eighth day morning, right at 548 in the morning, and uh, we make our uh, calling and election sure by beginning this day from the altar of the Lord, from the altar of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, and thine is the glory. Yes, Lord, forever and forever. Amen and amen. Revelation. Uh, chapter 3, verse 8, becomes our resting place today. As a matter of fact, uh, we're letting you know that um, the Philadelphia Fellowship doors are open. And this eighth verse of our text of origin, uh, Revelation 3, uh, verse 8, highlights this opening of the door. Verse 8 says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no one can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and has not denied my name. No one can shut it. You have little strength. You've kept my word, and uh, you have not denied my name. This force of this foursome enables us on this eighth day in, uh, in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, as this verse 10 highlights, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come it has come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth this earth setting where uh, the Lord has placed me is affected where you are it's affected but the open door that God has opened for us. In a sense, he has invited us to that safe place, that secure place, that place that has been opened by him for each one of us in the midst of all that is affecting those who dwell upon the earth has a door. We have an opening that the Lord has given us, in a sense, a full-pronged purpose in getting there, in us being assured of what we need to have covering us during this period that we are going through right now. No one can shut this door. 
your strength is not as it used to be and there's a word that you've been given that keeps you and uh, there's a a promise keeper <laughs> that uh, covers this word and this this time that we spend in this open door and we bless the Lord that as we've approached him he's opening a passage way for us for this eighth day to go where we need to go to say what we need to say to, to do what we need to do but most of all to get from the one who opened the door entrance entrance into a a place that um, we are satisfied in him supplying the strength we don't have, him keeping his word that he has given to order our steps that we may walk in today, and to give an assurance that since we've come in his name, we would not be denied access for his name provides everything that we need. I bless the Lord for you personally. I bless the Lord for your family that you are of and for the generational blessing that he has released uh, that affords us with this great opportunity uh, at this moment. We shall celebrate the Lord's Supper in this day just uh, to ward off um, any kind of uh, Judaism that may uh, prevail during this period. For if he had to do it with his 12 disciples who had raised that question, Lord, is it I? When uh, Judas um, had betrayed him. But then Jesus highlights this betrayal is uh, not only coming through Judas, but I hear all of the disciples in attendance, Lord, is it I? And surely I personally, I, my, my household, my wife, my two sons, my daughter in love, my two granddaughters, my brothers, my sister, those who remain alive among us, we do not wish, even those of the Philadelphia Fellowship family, we do not wish in any way, nor shape, form, or fashion, it doesn't matter how weak we are, how, how, how our strength has been depleted that gives us a vulnerability to betrayal, but but I lift this which the Lord lifted, and provide a um, an antidote for any and all um, that would betray any all who's who've tried to sneak in the door <laughs> without his word, without his covering, and from. Uh, that uh, predisposed illegitimacy would seek to come against the Lord and what he has planned and provided for us on this eighth day, eight innumerable uh, uh, um, uh, um, dynamics, the numerology of of eight registers, that there is a new beginning, a fresh start that uh, we are anticipating. Uh, 
Um, I have a luxury as a granddad, along with my wife, to ensure that our oldest granddaughter arrives at school um, by our car. Uh, we have to make this journey as they, they've bonded with God to have her not just in school, not just the public school, but they wish to see her um, enjoin through a Christian school. And we, 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 we saw this school open before the public school did. Uh, God always does something like that. <laughs> But as the public school has opened that we have to pass on our way to the Christian school, um, the line has become longer, so long that when you turn down uh, the pathway to get to the school, traffic is so thick, uh, persons' schedules are so tight that the the, 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 the pressure to be on time uh, for where you're on your way to, that includes first getting that child to their point of destination, that the line is long. The line is long. The line is long. It, 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 it proffers that uh, you leave space sometime for those who are trying to merge in, and, uh, like on yesterday when I left space and I invited this truck to come on in to the line, but my wife said um, he, he's not on his way to the school. He's trying to get to work. So I let another lady in who, who, who was trying to get to the school. But she had to get in the line as well. How, who will we let in? As our Lord has declared this morning that uh, he's granted us an open door. Whose prayer request is getting through? Who, whose presence of the Lord ha has been given license to the Lord to come on in and get in my heart, get in my mind, get in my soul, get in my spirit, I have room for you, Lord. Um, come, I need you. I, 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 I don't want to go through this day without you. This open door, this open door, this open door, uh, and, 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 and this, this heavenly portal that we, uh, we sense and we synchronize ourselves to um, to profit from such a door in ways unimaginable, in ways beyond what our our thinking could be. We we we're on our way through this door. Uh, I I I I I look forward to spending time inside on an on the inside. Um, access uh, to uh, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, as well as the day maker. He's the only one I know who made this day. This is the day the Lord hath made. I'm glad to be in the door. He opened it for me. I'm glad to be here. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, he knows me, and has kept my word. Thank you, Lord, for the word you gave me, that no one has ever been able to take it away. And I, I, I don't want to do, I, 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 I don't want to do this last thing. I don't want to uh, deny you deny the purpose, the promise, the empowerment, the sanctity, 
that you've granted through your own name. Thank you for the password. <laughs> As I passed through this door, I heard him say, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. So to you, my fellow worshiper, from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet, for what you had to go through to get here, and the attention that you're giving the Lord because he's granted you access to him through this open door, what he has in store for you because you've arrived. We also uh, lift this cup wherein you said this cup is the New Testament in my blood. It's, it's my will for your life. It's, it's part of this wording, this empowerment that you're going to need today in, in order to move from the morning of the day to the noonday of the day to the early evening of this day. And then when the uh, purple drapes of the evening begin to be pulled and uh, this day that has shined the light so bright begin to have that sun set behind the western hills and do what it does best to provide such covering for life and living. Um, we look for the setting of the Lord's blessing upon our lives as we prepare for rest, and then as we prepare for our next, our ninth day's journey, the next, and that which is greater, we celebrate it now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessings to you, your family, where there is um, threats, but where there's also uh, the throne room that the Lord never shuts, where there is a, a setting down, but we've had someone who sits there before us and who makes that sitting place, that resting place, his place where his authority is yet released and we can get something and take it where we need it in order to be more like him in our mannerisms. This open door. We look forward to coming to share it with you every day, this open door. Uh, I can open doors that no man can shut and shut doors that no man can open. So feast today upon this great fellowship with the Lord of the eighth day. And let's see his, rap his rapturing power Take us to where we never thought we could arrive, through what we thought we could never get through because the door has been opened by him. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Grant us this greatness of this day that is yours. Protect us from all hurt, all harm, all danger and prosper us in places where we did not think we could prosper there. Uh, turn our midnights in today and may thy wholesomeness give us an open door to where we thought we could never get to go through what we never thought we could go through and be who we thought we could never be. 
been with the Lord. We are with him right now. There is a Shelby that gives us promise as only he can provide. It's been a joy to be with you. I trust that you will share with us in this uh, Revelation 3 and 8 moment every morning, somewhere around this time. And we look forward uh, to seeing the Lord bless you, your household, your family in this same glorious dimension. Until then, may the glory and promise of God rest, rule, and abide with you. God bless.